What's up guys? Let's do this transient state problem which is from chapter 11 problem section, it's number 2 and yes, uh, I think you should read the problem first and then I'm going to help you so pause the video, read it and then I'll continue so we're talking about 150 kilomoles 150 kilomole of an aqueous phosphoric acid solution. So you have a solution that contains, they give you this percentage, which is the change it to fraction of phosphoric acid. I'm going to use P and water, of course, I'm going to use W. Okay, we have this data. And they tell you the solution is concentrated by adding pure phosphoric acid at this rate here which is volumetric flow, we're going to need to change that eventually to moles you're going to see that later and let me tell you about what they're asking us to do So probably we have this in a tank and they, are, they add this here at 20 liters per minute so you have here phosphoric and water which is here what you will expect is that eventually the level is going to go up to have more, more phosphoric acid than before and yeah, let's say this is time, the final time needed and this is the initial time and you will have, this is the concentration at the initial time and the concentration at the final time, we don't know it and we, actually we also don't know at what time we are going to do it so they tell you later A, please write the differential mole ba balance, which is essentially just to the mass balance on phosphoric acid, very important here, not the water, not uh, the total mass, but phosphoric acid and please give the initial conditions, which we already have here it's initial concentration, initial time is equal to zero, of course and they give you this tip, start by defining NP to be the total quantity of phosphoric acid in the tank at any moment or any time. So let's do this. First of all, let me go here. We're going to do mass balance. You know, from the mass balance equation, inlet minus outlet plus production minus consumption should give you the accumulation in this system. So let me tell you why we are accumulating stuff here. First of all, you see the tank here and you're adding 20 liters per minute, you know, as time goes by you're going to increase the level at this volume level and mass level of the tank so as time changes, you know the definition of a uh, transient state when time changes, something va or variables changes so we are going also not only the level or volume we're going to change also the concentration because we are adding more phosphoric acid so eventually you're going to get more phosphoric acid here and you're going to concentrate it so from maybe 5% mold you're going to increase it if you keep doing it forever maybe like if as time reaches infinity you're going to achieve around 100% okay but of course we're not going to do this probably we're going to do some 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes who knows and you will expect of course to be between this range Okay, let's continue with the mass balance. We have no outlets, we have only inlet, which is the 20 liters per minute. Production, no, because we have no reactions. Consumption, no, because the same reason. And accumulation, yes, we have accumulation. So our mass balance get into this form, which is kind of nice. And yeah, let's analyze the inlet. Inlet is this 20 liters per minute and you know we don't like liters so if we use the density we're going to have mass per time and if we have the molecular weight which is easy to get we can get mole per time which is what I want I want moles because I have everything in moles and probably they are asking me let's go here yeah they tell you this little tip go define NP here as kilomoles so yeah Let's do the calculations from Databook 
H3PO4. The density is something around 1000, oh, 1.834 grams per milliliter. And the molecular weight, sorry about that, it's around 98 grams per mole. So let's do it. Let's calculate the input, which will be 20 liters per minute. Actually, let me do it in variables. We will have the density times the uh, volumetric flow, sorry, volumetric flow. And if we do, this, is, this will be our mass, and we will need to multiply it by molecular weight to get mass, no, to get moles. So let's do it. We have our volumetric flow is here, 20 liters per minute. Our density, we just got it from the book. You don't know how to get them, just Google that. And let me change these milliliters to liters. So they can. This, look how these liters and these liters and these milliliters and milliliters are going to cancel. So that's cool. And what else? Yeah, we want to divide, actually, we need to divide 98 grams per mole. So sorry about that, this is a division. And we don't want uh, grams uh, or gram mole, we want kilomoles. So, you know, 1000 mole, gram mole, it's the same as one kilomole. So, yeah, let's do this. Look how everything liters cancel with liters, milliliters with milliliters, grams with grams, gram mole with gram mole. So, we are left with only kilomoles per minute, which is what we want. 0 0.375 will give us the number, 20 times this, times 1000, actually 1000, 1000 goes, divided by 98. So we get kilo mole per minute. This is our inlet, and we already calculated this. We need to calculate accumulation, which is actually not a calculation, it's a concept, which is the derivative of the moles around time. And when I say moles because we're doing a mass balance in phosphoric acid we have to choose total moles so that's cool we have everything we substitute this data actually you will get that the moles of P the relative of moles of phosphoric acid in time will yield a constant which is this here and look how the units make sense. Up here we have kilomoles of phosphoric acid, down we have minutes, and it's exactly what we have here. So we are in the right path, we have uh, a good analysis in dimension, so we continue. Now they tell you, um, let's go up, up, up. Okay, at any time, so we want to do this at any time, yeah. Let's calculate this. We will get uh, the initial condition. I, they tell you time zero. You have this small fraction, which is xp will be five percent, which is data. So what you're seeing here it's a differential equation with the boundary uh, condition. So we could we could actually solve it. They don't ask us to solve it. They just tell you please. Give me this and the boundary condition. We're going to solve it in letter B, which is, let me go up. Solve the balance to, to obtain an expression for NPT. So we need to solve that differential equation. Use the result to derive an expression for XP in time, which is the mole fraction of phosphoric acid in the solution. So let's do it. B is something like, yeah, we have T. We have this here before. It's a first order differential equation. It should not be that difficult to solve. Uh, I want to change this here. So I got the NP. This is a constant, so I don't need to send it here. I can let it here. And yeah, let's integrate from NP0 to NP final. And the time T0 to final time. Now, 
this integral will be NP we need to evaluate in NP0 and NP and yes, 0 0.375 times T evaluated in T0 and T so let's evaluate we get this to the left and we get this to the right and yeah we're done we just need to use our boundary condition which we do not have because we need NP0 NP0 will be essentially the amounts of moles of phosphoric acid which is total moles times the mole fraction of P which is 150 kilomole of total solution and they give me this number this here guys it's 7.5 kilo mole of P per minute no actually no it's not it's just initial moles they carry guys it's only mole we have no time here so ignore that I'm going to take it away it's only kilomoles per batch so we have this here we are going to set this time we know it's time zero so we are going to get the nice equation which is NP minus 7.5 equals mm, where is it 0 0.375 T because this is zero and NP equals 0 0.375 T plus 7.5 Good. We have the equation, but they the thing here, guys, it's that they we have this here, but they tell you okay, use this result now, but we want the mole fraction. So essentially, hopefully you know that the mole fraction it's uh mole fraction, you know it's n of any substance divided by the total moles of the mixture. So if we want y of p or mole fraction of p, we need the amount of moles of p divided by the total amount of moles. What is that? Well, we need to check we have this, yes, at, the, at any moment, which is this here. And the total moles we need to calculate. Total moles at any time will be essentially initial moles, which are water plus the initial moles of phosphoric acid phosphoric acid at the start so this here we know it's 150 plus the moles at any moment of NP so yeah total moles, yes and since well, we're going to see later that we're going to cross some uh, uh, some numbers we have this NP phosphoric acid at any moment mm, yeah okay so let's go to this here let's substitute equation number one let's say this is in here so NP is 0 0.375 T plus 7.5 divided by NT which is NT let's see equation number two which is let's substitute that's 150 all this 100 50 plus the, the this equation here and just one thing guys I might forget but you need to take out this number because we are counting it as double so we gotta take it out this is the initial actually yeah we can this is a negative so don't use 150 the best one will be here you pay you have this and yeah we just gotta do some math 7.5 plus 0.375 t divided by 150 plus 0.375 t so we have this expression here now. So that's that was letter B. It's actually this is like B1 and this is B2 because they ask us two things. 
which is this B1 and B2 I'm telling you and finally they tell you calculate uh, the time that will take to concentrate to 50% so let's do letter C letter C will be essentially just find the value T so T X P or well actually I use YP anyway we're talking about mole fraction YP is equivalent to the 50% so we know YP then it will be numerically 0 0.15 we substitute in 3 so 1.0.15 equals 7.5 plus 7.375 T divided by 150 plus 0 0.375 T and as you can see this is just an equation we can look for the time and we're going to do it so you just need to change all these to it here 0 0.15 we multiply 150 plus 0 0.375 T equals 7.5 plus 375 T and yeah this is let me check the numbers this is, should be 22.5 plus 0 0.066 T equals 7.5 plus this is exactly the same and I want to check left I want numbers and right I want variables so I get this which eventually it's going to divide and give you around 47 minutes so that's the time we're going to take if you want to start your 5% uh, solution we have phosphoric acid plus water we're going to add just phosphoric acid so eventually as time passes by you're going to add like 6% 10% eventually until you get to 50% you're going to take 47 minutes so that's what's the problem let's just reanalyze we had this system we have phosphoric acid and water at these initial conditions at time zero we got this amount of kill moles and we were adding 20 liters of phosphoric acid per minute so we do the mass balance and we solve for it this is the differential equation with the boundary was letter a letter b was to get the this equation number one amount of uh, phosphoric acid at any time and because they're they like to have also the phosphoric acid uh, fraction or mole fraction they ask you here so we have these two equation one and three are part of uh, B and finally letter C it's just the time that we need to get this value of YP or XP the amount of mole fraction of phosphoric acid we just substitute it, do some math, this is just math, and we get these 47 minutes. So that's cool. We have essentially done everything, mass balance, some math, and we are set for this problem.